All right, welcome to sixth grade English. I am so excited to work with you guys. My name is Miss Niederman. We're gonna do a roll call really quick. Hello. Hi. Introduce yourselves really fast. Uh, I'm Nolan Bunting. I'm Kaya. I'm Cody. Awesome, thank you guys so much for your excited participation. So we're gonna talk about supporting a claim with evidence. And we're gonna talk about something that everybody's dealt with. Uh, kids and adults, we've all gone through it, we've become better people, um, and it makes us have kinder hearts. We're going to talk about bullying. So, can somebody raise their hand and tell me what bullying is? Is it good or is it bad? Cody! Yes, bullying is extremely negative. Okay, so, we know... that bullying is bad. Cody, why do you say that bullying is bad? Because bullying is usually a discipline, either verbal or physical on the other person. Okay, have you had any experience where you've noticed that? My life. Your life, yes. okay, so this is where we're talking about the evidence or the proof. So, you had personal experience with being bullied? Yes. Okay, what was one example of your bullying experience that, um, that made you think bullying was bad? Uh, I think one of them was much younger. They were, it was a chanting a uh, slur against me. Uh, because of my well, because of my assumed sexuality, my sexuality, it was they were calling me specific names that I want to really repeat here. Okay, but uh, that's okay. That's what I, they, that's what I very remember that period of my life. Okay, um, there we go. So someone we haven't heard from in the room has has somebody been a bully to someone else? No, we're all we're all good, peaceful Samaritans. <laughs> Nolan, you almost raised your hand. Oh well, uh, I never really bullied anyone, like physically or verbally, but I did occasionally uh, put down a lot of students with uh, my kind of bragging to their face and talking about like how great my life was, and I kind of made them feel bad doing. Okay. And then to my right. Yeah. Okay. What, give me one example of a time where maybe you've observed somebody else getting bullied and you thought it was bad. Okay. Okay, so you've you've seen somebody else making fun of another person or another student. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's good. I'm gonna write down like making fun of appearance. So the last part is the effect and action. So what effect does bullying have on our self-esteem? <laughs> Very negative effect. Yeah. yeah. So it makes us feel low about ourselves, right? So, um, hold on. So. What actions can we take? I just want to hear from one person for the sake of time. What's an action we can do to stand up for somebody that's been bullied or if we have experienced bullying? As a bystander, you can confront certain people, maybe point out where their logic, like if they have logic flaws, how they might be taught to be using the same language. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 
constructive feedback, and asking for help from someone else. That's always a really good idea. So, our claim is that bullying is bad. And the evidence of proof is that we have been victims of bullying, we've been the bully, maybe felt bad as a result of making someone else feel bad, or we watch somebody make somebody feel low about themselves. And the effect is that, well, we feel really down about ourselves and we can uh, give them constructive feedback or ask for help. So when we end this, I'm gonna give a little chant. We're gonna say, um, I'm gonna do a call and response. So repeat after me. Claim is the name of the game. Claim is the name of the game. You can't break the rules if you don't have proof. You break the rules if you don't have proof. <laughs> when you got the proof, then what do you do? You got the proof, then what do you do? Tell them what you think and speak your truth. Tell them what you think and speak the truth. All right, thank you guys so much. That is the end. Give a wave. All right.